Good evening. You are in mute, teacher. Yes, uh, the thing is that I'm, I'm having some, some issues with the uh, with, uh, internet in this moment. It took me out from the other class because I think it's going to rain. That's why. Because I can hear the thunders. But in my area, it's, it's raining right now. It's oh, raining. Has been raining about one hour. Really? And, yeah. Where, and it, where do you live? Uh, I live uh, near from the Paso del Jaguar. Ah, okay, good. So that's near the, what is this? The Mr. Mosa, right? That, Mr. Uh, Mosa, here. right. Yes, right. Yes, I live here in, uh, in Lourdes, so, but then I can hear the thunders and uh, okay. I mean, uh, some lightnings. Probably that's a, a reason why. But probably in some areas, because I don't see the rest of the people, maybe they are having some issues too, right? But right. anyways, but the good thing is that we are here. Okay, and how was your day? It, it, it was a hard day, what, again. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I, I, I am feeling like a black slave or a, okay. or a Jude in a Nazi campment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's constant, and one of those concentration camps, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... But do, uh, in, uh, do you have to help your children also with uh, school homework and stuff? Uh, I, I help them uh, a little bit. Uh, okay. My wife are in church, is in church of that area in the house, really. Okay. Uh, but uh, some, some assignments like English, for example, mm -hmm. I, I give it them the 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 help the extra, the extra help they need yeah yeah uh, some math things too mm -hmm. and in the in the, everything that i can do uh, meanwhile i don't have a, a meaning i i try to to help them yes okay that, that's that happens right it's something that we gotta do i mean all the time okay good thank you very much so we have uh, Cecilia is connecting, uh, Sergio, well, Jonathan is here, Adriana, Eric, Beatrice, uh, George. How are you, George? Better? Uh, yes, a little better, teacher. Okay, great. Good to hear you, right? Okay, okay. thank you. All right. Thanks. Hey, hello, Gio. Hey, hi, teacher. Long, hey, time, long time no see, like 24 yeah. hours, 23 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how about you, Eric? How was the day? Fine, teacher. Thanks for, for asking. And how are you? All right, good. We are waiting for the it's 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 raining there. Yes, it's starting to rain. It has just started and uh, like five minutes ago, you know, uh, I lost the uh, but a, a few Yes. A, mm -hmm. because a little bit. Uh -huh, because it's yeah, but right now it's just raining a little bit, not too much. Just kind of pudding, not not really raining hard. But maybe later, maybe later. Okay, good. All right, everybody. So then, uh, today, what do we have for today? We have a lot of things to do, right? Yes. Teacher, I have a question. All right. Uh, Let's see if Gio has the answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Jonathan Guzman mm -hmm. uh, sent me an a, a email. Okay. And, and tell uh, the new form to the the, uh, the course. Okay. Yes. Listen. For two uh, hours. For two hours. I have been. Yeah. Uh, because I was also a little confused with that. I, yeah. I thought, and they sent me also today, uh, actually in the WhatsApp. Let me see uh, uh, an issue about the, about this topic. And the thing is, I, um, I think that they are going to change the, this new uh, way to teach 
because they, are, they don't have more scholarship for this program. Okay, scholarship for the people who don't work. Okay, on, I guess that is going to be only on the first level, like level one, two, and three, the, the beginners, they, because they already have the, they, they already started. So they're going to finish with them. And after that, I think it's going to be only for people who are working in this moment. I don't know if it is because of the pandemic, if they don't have a, in support, doesn't have a, I mean, the same income, right? And then, uh, so they are reducing the, the, the scholarship for people who don't work. Okay, but in, and then, and they're going, and they're going to, I think they're going to um, put together the two programs, this program and the one that they call Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, I think. Is yeah, a, yeah, that, that is the name. The name. National, that is national the name. program for the English something uh, English for work. Uh, yeah. It's called English for work. English for work, right? Yes. English for work, yeah. It's okay. a national program uh, that Insafor gives the the whole scholarship for the people who works in a mm -hmm. company that that has a, a, in a private ten employees, mm -hmm. uh, and they are. A, Legally, in all all that uh, all the all the the, uh, the documents, all the, uh -huh, and the, mm -hmm. they they give money to the East and the FAFP mm -hmm. and all of this. All of the ones who have the perks, okay, the let's say the legal perks, right? The legal uh, benefits. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. For example, you have the and then yes, and then uh, but in some way, I think it's better. Because you're gonna have two hours, and it's in, on, to Monday, Monday to Friday. exactly to Friday. the highest one hour per week. In that sense, I think it's good. But I'm not really sure, and I don't know. The, probably you have received is the schedule, the hours. Okay. I don't know if it is going to be probably from from eight to ten, maybe. Yeah, because or, because it's. They are giving to us just two schedules. Okay. Which six ones? To eight, six to eight and eight to ten. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So probably right. that that might be a problem probably for some of you, right? Yeah. Because, because you have to start one hour earlier. Okay. So, but I think they, they, it is ten to the beginning in... July 6th, I guess, right? July 6th. That's, yes, that's, July 6th. Okay, but that's the, that's the point, Jonathan. You think it's uh, with the new program? Oh. No, oh, I don't have a uh, uh, With the new program? You will I'm, continue with us, teacher. Uh, um, I don't know, because uh, uh, right now, for the moment, I can teach from 8 to 10. Okay, oh, okay. I don't I know if it, it depends. The same on, problem uh -huh, it's uh, for the issues, for the schedule. For the schedule, right? Because if uh, if if I have to teach from eight to ten, I don't know how long. Uh, uh, this month I was available from eight to ten, but next okay. month I don't know. It depends on that. If I'm available, yes, if uh, there's no problem. And then uh, it's going to be like, like I can told you, not two hours and ten hours a week. So I think that's the that's why you that's what I asked you the other day if you had received this letter. Mm -hmm. But it's only for people who work, right? Then the people who who were only students or are not working at the moment, they were they had the opportunity to be in this program that you that we are right now. Uh, and it was uh, like a scholarship, right? They didn't pay anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, oh, okay. it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't matter if they were not working or if they were not paying the social security, or the IFP or the AFP. Okay, so no problem with that. But now, yes, but now it's only for people who work, okay? Like yeah. in many, many of your cases, right? So you have to present the documents, you have to put the, the payroll, the payroll from the, from the social Hi. security, the letter, I mean, all the documents, right, that you present. Yeah. But you know, the students or the people who didn't work didn't have to present that. Okay, so that, yeah. those are the people who will be 
hopefully, hopefully for the moment, will be left out of the of the program. Okay. Mm. I don't. I think in this group everybody works. In the group that I have from eight to to nine, nine. There, there, there are like two or three guys who are only studying and they don't work. So mm. then probably for them there will be a there will be a problem, right? Teacher. Yes, sir. Um, this is a, a a continuity with what we are studying, or or is it different? That's another thing that I need to find out. I guess that if, if the program continues, if the program continues, uh, it's going to be it has to be the same. Right? It has to be the same because in the English for el trabajo and the English for work, they have other books. They have some. Yeah, hey. I I came from from English for Work. Uh, I was studying in the UCA, mm -hmm. and and we have we have a, a different, very different books. Mm -hmm. But I think they are a very good books, really. Yes, they uh, are, when they are I, manuals, right? They call it manuals. Yeah, yeah manual. uh, When when I uh, changed to that to to this program uh, because the COVID nineteen. Uh, the 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 people of the uh, this company said me that that this program uh, was the same, but uh, there are uh, there are very, much difference. Be, uh, for example, uh, in the English for work, uh, you need to study two and a half hours per day, mm -hmm. from Monday to Friday. Uh, my schedule, for example, was from 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, that, that's why they have the two, I think that in this uh, English for Work, they have two programs. They have the uh, 40 hours and 50 hours. I think the one that they are offering you in this moment is the 40 hours from, the, uh, let's say, 8 to 10. But the one that Sergio says at UCA, they also have, they had both. They have from six to eight and from six to eight thirty. Many yeah, it, it's the, it's from six to eight mm -hmm. uh, it was for first three levels. Uh -huh. But uh, beginning in in intermediate one, you must take uh, two and a half hours per day because in support requires that time that minimum minimal time yes it's like 50 hours uh 50 hours a month let's say right a month yeah or, or 50 yeah. hours per per level per course or per, per level yeah mm -hmm. okay so i will get more information for for you guys and because uh, the last one the last one uh -huh. we are going to uh, make us a new exam or or proof no i don't think so or check it out or check it out where in what level we are no. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think oh, okay, okay, okay. Continue with the same. Oh, Sergio, okay. did, did you take an, a test to to incorporate into this group? Uh, to this group, uh, uh, I didn't uh, make a test, but I give to the teach to the representative my past uh, diplomas. Ah, uh -huh, okay, yes. Ah, uh -huh, that's what you but, have to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I when I I made the chicken to the English for work in the UCA. Uh, I made two tests. Mm -hmm. One one that is online and the other that the UCA uh, asked for. Yes, uh -huh. but that's, you know, at the beginning, right? The first time that you went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After that, after you are in the, in the program, you just need to keep the, the diplomas and the diplomas are you know the evidence right that you have studied the previous level okay yes okay. yes yes only um uh, but you know i i need to find out a little bit more because i i have the same information that you have today i receive uh, uh some information about it but i need to to know about uh, some more details like for example uh if we're going to the same platform i think I think uh, if they move, I don't know if it's going to be possible to have the the manuals to teach online because you have more exercises. But but it's possible, right? So 
because I have all the books. I have all those books because I, when I took the course, uh, when I took the course to teach uh, here at uh, for in support, I they gave me the accreditation and I had to, to prepare classes with those books. So I think it's uh, like Sergio says, it's very useful because you know you learn vocabulary based on based on the on the needs that you have according to your job. Okay, but uh. English is English, doesn't matter, and, and and the level that you have, I think, is is quite good, right? So, but you need what you need now is just to practice more and increase vocabulary, and that is some uh, something that you have to do is uh, read a lot. Okay, try to read as much as you can. Okay. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, difference. It is optional to take that course that you was talking about. I don't, I don't think so, Beatriz. I think it's going to be that you will have to move to that one, I guess. Because I think that this, uh, but that's what I need to find out, okay, before I. Teacher. Before I tell you for sure that you have to move, I need to find out exactly if you will have the two options, this one and the other one. But I think that they are planning to to put the two programs together, right? This one and the English files as well. I asked you that question because when I start to study English, I starting my company, a teacher gave us uh, the English lesson uh, for uh, from Monday to Friday, Friday from 6 and 8 p.m. But I, but I didn't have enough time to continue in that way, so I changed in this way online, mm -hmm. and I ha and I did an exam to incorporate in this course. Mm -hmm. Ah, you did. Yes, Why? I did. Uh, I did um, exam online. The company that I work, they give you a link and I had to do the exam to incorporate the test. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yes yeah. Oh, okay yes but that was just to get into the into this program but I guess that is not really complicated right um, but uh, but I think we at least I think I'm not really sure that uh, yes you will have to go because if you have received that email with two options right Eric six to eight no, and eight to ten yeah yeah but they called me yesterday and they in I asked them the same question that Beatrice is doing right now, mm -hmm. and they told me that uh, the, this course in this moment, uh, they are not going to continue with that mm -hmm. because the, the scholarship is, is not available to, to currently. Okay. So they are going to change to, the, to that uh, to the other part. two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You have to wait to wait a, 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 around two months or three months to begin this course again mm -hmm. to, to this level to following levels. Okay. But for the moment, only is the new course. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So then, this is you know this is the the so that's the fact. Then then we're going to move to to this. I guess that for you guys. Uh, is a good option, right? I know it's a little bit more uh, probably a little bit of sacrifice, you know, more time for the schedule, right? yeah, because of the schedule, right? Because and then you have one more hour. But uh, I guess that you know it's a it's a good option. You know, Ten hours a week is good. It's a, I mean, you can cover. You know, you, if we cover this in in what in sixteen weeks, so we. we uh, cover you know twice as much in in sixteen days, right? And then or more time to practice, or more time to read and vocabulary. So I guess it's a good option, okay? But let me also find out more things, and then I let you know. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank okay. you. Okay. okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Then let's see what is the yesterday we stopped with the unreal condition. It closes, right?
So stay tuned forever. This. Real conditions in order to describe imaginary situations, we will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Hi, are you ready with Klaus? This about this? we want you to pay attention to the following. Vice versa simple present. We want you to pay simple verb. Let's move on. Okay, any questions about this explanation? Something that you can see? Oops, who's writing? <laughs> okay, um, what is something that you can uh, tell? No problem? You can. Yes, Chris. When I use a, a past simple, if I use a past, a past simple, I will use another tense. In the if clause? Yes. No. Oh, I mean, yes, you can, but you would, it would be a different uh, conditional sentence, right? This one, remember that it is for a, let's say, unreal, right? Unreal conditional. Okay. But because you can say in present, for example, if I play soccer, okay, or if I get wet, if I get wet, I will get sick. Okay, that is present and future. The condition is get wet, and the result, We'll get, get sick. sick. Uh -huh. We'll get sick. Okay, we'll but that is, for example, when you're talking about something that will happen if I do something. If I eat too much, I will get fat. 
if I don't sleep well, I will be stressed, out, okay? So then that would be, for example, the effect or something that if I don't do this, something else will happen. In this case is, if I had, but I don't have, it's contrary to the fact. Okay, so in this structure, always in fact. If, fact. And then in the main clause, you can use would, could, or might. Okay? okay. For example, if I had, a, let's say, if I had a, what, if I had an airplane, if I had an airplane, I could travel to South America in this moment. Okay? If I had an airplane but I don't. Then if I had a sense, I could travel to South America. I could travel. I might travel. Might, remember, is always a possibility, right? Okay. Okay? Thank you, Teach. All right. And then, and the other one that you see here is if he were. If he were friendly, remember I told you yesterday, right? In this uh, kind of conditional, we always use where. It doesn't matter if it is he, she, or it. If I were you, no, if I was you. Okay, uh, American people, the native speakers, that sometimes we say, uh, they sometimes use if I was. Okay, if I was you. Okay, it's an informal way to use it, it's acceptable, but grammatically, the correct form is if I were you, okay? If so, I were you. Nah, that's the correct one, grammatically. But if you hear, for example, a North American, and he says, you know what, Beatrice, if I was you, I wouldn't do that. They say, I was you if I were, no problem, okay? The correct form is if I were you. If I was, is acceptable, but it's more colloquial, more, uh, let's say, more inform it's informal. Okay. Okay. And they and the and the North American people they use it. Okay. Don't fight with them. Okay. No, that's not correct. <laughs> okay. like they use he, it. He use where with I. Huh? He use where with the I. Uh -huh, with I. You say if I was you, if it was yes, no, they, they use what? Where. Uh huh. Okay. But the correct form is if I was. Okay. Okay. Good. So that's what it says. Example if. If he were friendly, we would be good friends. Okay, if he were here, okay, if he were here, we would talk. We would be there. <laughs> For example, if Ronnie were here, okay, he would invite us to the pupusas. Yeah. Okay, but he's not here. Yes, he's here. If Ronnie were but, here, we yes. don't have money. Yes, <laughs> here. yes, then we have to put it that. Okay, then it's if he were, if he weren't, okay, but then we can use the opposite. If he were wearing here, okay, we would do what? He would be with his friends. Uh -huh, we would probably, or we wouldn't enjoy his friends. Okay. Teacher, it's yes, called, sir. for example, is today where the Teacher days, I will be invited to a cake for okay. Sunday. Ah, yes. ah, that's why you didn't come yesterday, right? Yes. <laughs> for the teacher's day, for yes. the teacher's uh -huh. day. Yes. That's why you didn't join in yesterday, because you didn't want to clean the cake. So, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but it's a correct use if today if were. If today were, yes. Oh, okay. where the, uh, if today were the teacher's day, I would bring you a cake. Okay. I would give With you a whatever you want to drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, coffee. Okay. <laughs> a nice cup of coffee. Okay, okay good. Exactly, Thank yes, you. that's the way it is. Very good. Okay, people, so then you can see here you might, uh, for example, uh, it's, it's might. use good and that's good. Uh, I like to some practice. Okay. Don't forget to mute yourself and mute your microphone when you're using it to avoid interference. Please. Okay. Now here, where we have a knowledge check. 
okay, that we can probably use. Okay, who wants to, to try this? Carla, can you try this one? Read this question, please. Okay. Um, instructions, complete these conversations, use the verbs in brackets. Okay, good. Then it says um, complete these conversations. Uh -huh. Go ahead, hey. Number one. A, if you uh -huh. three months to travel, where you? Okay, what would be the correct one? If you? If you, if you had three months if you to travel, had three months, where, where are you going? Okay, so. Where would you go? Have. I don't know if we have to. What if there are better places? No, I don't know if we have to write all the sentence. Well, at the end, I think we can show the answer. The conversation. Yeah, but we can write it. Okay. So if you have, or maybe uh, you, you can write at the lines. No. No, it, can, it has to be in the box. No, complete the sentence. You have to write all the sentences. Sentence. Yes. Then yes. let's do it. You let's have do to it. all the sentence. Let's do it orally, and then after we, we see the answer. Okay. Okay, okay. So here it says, if you have. Three months. You have three I'm going to write it just give me this. If you have. Mm -hmm. And then in your case, where? Where were you going? Where, where, where you would you go? Where, where would you go? Would you? Would you going? Going. Go. 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 Remember this, right? Where would you going? Where would you go? If you had three months to travel, where would you go? go? Where would you go? Okay, good. George Lemus. Okay, oh, is that easy? I have uh, oh, that's easy. Uh, sorry. That easy would be fly to Antarctica. I always want to go there. Okay. How would you send it here? I would fly. Yeah. I, I would fly. Will fly to Antarctica. I would fly to Antarctica. Yes. Okay, I would fly to Antarctica. Flow. I would fly. There should fly. be fast. I would fly. Would fly. This is about. Remember that when we use wood, always fly. Never a uh, past participle or nothing. Okay, this is base form. I would fly. Base form. Okay, good. Ronnie? Okay, the, if you're a doctor. If you are a doctor, tell you get a more exercise. Which sport you choose? Um, if you doctor, would you tell you? Would. Would? Are you sure? Mm. Uh, oh, remember, oh. in the if clause, what do we use? The past simple. Uh -huh. Then you. the past, past simple. Told you. 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 Told I told you. Yesenia, you're here. Yeah. What is the Always. letter B? <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I am not sure, but I I will would go uh, jogging two or three times a week. Okay, I'm not sure, but I will go jogging two or three times a week. All right. Julio, how about the next one? What? What are you doing? No. Would you? What? Huh? Remember that? Uh, what, would you would. what would you do? Okay, perfect. Now, what would you do? If you... 
with your card. card. Remember the formula. In the if clause, we use past tense. Past. Past tense. What is the past tense of break, Julio? Break. Broke. 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 Okay. Broke down. Okay, what would you do if your car broke, broke down? down? Okay. Right. Yes. Okay, Jonathan. Okay. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I walk everywhere. I. I. I had to. Uh, had to. Yeah. to walk every no. Remember the structure. If uh -huh. past tense and then I I would I would a good, a good. Okay. I would, I would have to walk everywhere. Have to I walk. walk. Have to okay. I would have to walk. Everywhere. Hi, Okay. Jaime? Yes. Jaime, Jaime? Yes, my woman, I am Alice. Okay. Sorry. You said. If, if you, if you yeah. want to break. It's a question. Uh, Remember, look at this. It is a question. You begin with? Do you? Do you? Do you? No, what is the you? verb that we're using? What is the auxiliary verb that we're using here? Would. Would. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you break? Break into uh, your houses. Into would your you break out. into houses if you lock 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 uh, if you lock yourself out? Well, yes, I would. Okay, good, Herbert. 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 Yes. Yes. The, this one. If. Let me see. If I. If I not. Is it negative? Uh -huh. Yeah. If I not. What is the past tense in negative? Will not. Wouldn't. No. Past tense? Negative. Have Oh. Haven't. Haven't. Have. Didn't have. Didn't have. Who said didn't have? I didn't have. I didn't have. I didn't have. I didn't have another key. Uh huh. I remember, simple past, right? In negative. Yeah. Uh huh. I, I ask. I. I will ask. Okay. A neighbor for help. I will ask a neighbor for help. Okay, good. Now let's see if we were. Okay, here. You say had, if you had three months, where would you go? Okay. You have to write, yes, you, remember that you, when you do the exercise, you have to write a complete uh, sentence, right? I did hear it this way because it's faster. Uh, there one said, oh, that's easy. I would fly. Look, I would fly. Okay. Uh, if your doctor told you, told, okay, told, told, told you. you had to get more exercise, which sport would you, would you choose? Okay, so we were right. Uh, I am not sure. I might go jogging. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because you know, because you can use good, might. He said not sure. I say here, might. 
Right. Okay, it's a possibility. Okay. What would you do if your car broke down? What would you do if your car broke down? There you go. Okay. Uh, if I couldn't afford to fix it, if I couldn't afford to fix it, I would have to walk. I would have to walk. Okay. Uh, would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? Would you break and lock? This is when we forget the keys, right? Sometimes happens or in your car. Sometimes, you know, we leave the car, the keys inside the car, and then you can say, I locked myself out. Okay, because uh, you, the keys are inside and you cannot enter that place. Uh, if I didn't have another key, I would ask a neighbor for help. If I didn't have another key, I would ask a neighbor for help. Okay, remember that in, in this structure, there are other structures, there are four more different types of uh, conditions. This is only one. And in this one we are using simple past in the if clause and would plus base form in the result clause. That's what you have to remember in this moment, okay? Questions? No? I can hear an angel passing on virtually. Okay, then now we're going, what we are going to practice is questions with what would you do? Okay, I want you to give me a long answer, right? Now read the question. Read the question in the in the chat. Okay, I want and I want to hear your answers. For example, but I you you have to give me the the long answer. If beginning with if. If I won the lottery, mm -hmm. I buy a new house. Okay, you can use the contraction, I'd buy a new house, or I would buy a new house. Thank you, uh -huh. Adriana. No problem, okay? Just invite us when you buy the new house, okay? <laughs> Just for having a little party. But after the pandemic, because we don't wanna get sick. Okay, good. Anybody else? What would you do if, if you won the lottery? If you won the lottery, if I, I if, if I do want lottery, I buy a new car. Okay, I buy a new car. Very good. Uh, and a new house. And a new house. Yeah. Okay. And a new, no, only that. Okay. <laughs> a new car and a new house. Okay. Good. I, I was travel. thinking in the same teacher. I travel. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, I travel. I Very travel good. around the world. <laughs> okay, perfect. But, but, I, but I'm not in the lottery in El Salvador. Hey, look at Roberto. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, if Roberto won the lottery, he would invite everyone to a party, he said. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. That's a friend. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, for example, uh, try to use different verbs. Okay, we're going to do something. Okay. If I won the lottery, I, um, let's say, I give, I would give away money to poor people. Know what is give away? Okay, to give away money to people, to poor people. Okay, tell me another sentence, but don't use buy, don't use give away. I have, I have one teacher. Okay. If I won the lottery, I don't work for last time. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't work. I wouldn't work. 
anymore. I rest. Okay, that's good. I need I, it. I wouldn't work anymore. I I not, not anymore, but 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 last time. For some time. For some time. For some time. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. Yes, I totally agree with you. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. They, if I won the lottery, I wouldn't work for some time. You can say, for example, I for health. Work for health. Yes, for my health. For my health. Yes. You can say, I wouldn't work for some time, or I would have stopped working for some time. Okay. These are different ways to say it. Okay. And it's the same idea. Okay, if I want the lottery, I'll quit. I'll quit my job. Okay, without two hundred. Only yes. I would, and I say I would, I would quit my job. Yes. Okay, if you want the lottery, I would invest in business to make more money. Okay, Gio, that's ambitious but good. <laughs> okay, what else? Yes, that's the way it is. You know, that's thinking about the future. Okay, I would quit. I will quit my job. Yes, Herbert, that's the right. That's the one. Okay, good. Hey, let me see who else here. I mean, hi, hi mate. If I won, honey, if I won the lottery, I would expand my company. Wow. I have only sure, I know, entrepreneurs here. That's good. Business people. Nice. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, I will watch the super classical Boca River in Argentina. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. Well, yes, me too. In La Bombonera. Yeah. <laughs> La Bombonera would be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, they say that it's a nice sensation in that place. Okay, good. What else? What would you do? Okay, what would you do if uh, if you could fly? What would you do if you could fly? Remember, this is something that never happened. That's why you can use any idea. Eric, you have a good imagination. What would you do if you could fly? <laughs> uh, I could, if, if I won the lottery, I would, I could pay my, I don't know, my, a new business, a new business for okay. me and my family. In your family. Okay, good. Okay, Sergio says that he would invest in Wall Street. We won the lottery. If I won the lottery, I would, I would, sorry, don't forget, I would invest in Wall Street to earn more money. Okay, if I could fly, I take an <laughs> I would take a nap in the clouds. Okay. If I could fly, I will be at work in five minutes. Okay. If I could go to work <laughs> in five minutes. I yes, wake up I late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wake up late to work. I I would well, wake up. I would wake up late, right? If I could fly, I would wake up late to go to work. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that would be a good option. Okay, you see, this is the idea, right? With this kind of a, a question, you activate the vocabulary, right? Vocabulary, fantasy, and all real thing. If I could fly, I would visit faraway places. Okay, this is very philosophical, but nice. If I could fly, I would visit faraway places. Good, Omar. Okay, what else? And now, now you ask a question, okay? If you want, you can write questions in the chat. What would you do if? Okay, question. And then we can answer all the ideas that we can. If I could fly, I would visit faraway places. Okay. Come up with a question. What would you do if? For example, what would you do if you were a singer? What would you do if you were a rock star? That's for you. What would you do if you... <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I see. Yes. already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, I will study English like I'm doing now. <laughs> 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 because you're a, you're a rock star now. What would you do if you weren't married? 
Yeah. Oh, hey, listen. <laughs> happy. Everybody. I would be happy. Every, everybody will be, be happy. happy. <laughs> I have a, I do have a morning. <laughs> be careful, Ronnie. Somebody behind you. <laughs> no, I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, okay, good. Home alone, like the like the little kids. Yeah, I, I home alone. <laughs> Okay, look, uh, listen to this one. What would you do if you had, if you had mental powers? What would you do if you had? If you had. I will control my little daughter. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, hey, hey, terrible hey, too. That's very nice. That's very nice. You know, because that, that means that you will use that power in something really good. Okay, you know, control your daughter. <laughs> yes. No, I, mean, I don't know, but girls nowadays, my goodness, I don't know, but they are very different from from my time. My sisters were not like that, but my daughters, they are kids. Okay. <laughs> Women well, control the men in that. Oh yes, that's, that's, <laughs> we that's already a, do that. This is real. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's real. A, that's the problem, right? <laughs> that's yes, problem. that's real. Okay. What else? Another question: With what would you do if? What would you do if you could go back in time? I like that one. What would you do if you could go back in time? Well, if I could go back in time. I do uh, to be in the high school. Yes, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't waste my time uh, <laughs> studying. I would play soccer. <laughs> I enjoy uh, my single. Yes, okay, I would enjoy my single life. Okay, yes. what else? What would you do if? What would you do? What would you do if you could go back in time? Imagine that you can, in this moment, go back to the eighties, to the nineties, two thousand, five years ago, ten years ago. I so, prefer travel to the future. Ah, okay. In your case, it's to the future. Okay, good. Maybe you will you will travel to the year 2050 and you will the find people, and people are still in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> the year 2050. Okay, let's see. What would you do if you could travel to the future? Okay, that's what Julio said. What would you do if you could travel to the future? Okay, now you have the two options to do. What would you do if you could go back in time? And what would you do if you could travel to the future? Okay, think about those two questions. Here it says, I would like to see the dinosaurs. I would like to see the dinosaurs. Okay. Teacher. Um, yes, Jonathan. In my case, what would you do if you go back in time? Maybe I, I uh, would tell told myself, don't grow up, never. <laughs> hey, I like that one, yes. You know, you know what, uh, I, 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 I laughed because uh, I was thinking about that this morning. You know, I saw my little daughter lying on the sofa and singing, you know, I was, now she was in her world in that moment. And then I, and I said, I wish I could be, you know, 10 years, I mean, like eight years old in this moment. Now she doesn't worry about anything, you know, life is easy. Yes, you know, grow up, you know, sometime hurts. Now yeah. That's, a, <laughs> that's nice, you know, it's time to, to do some philosophical thoughts and questions. Nice. Okay, what else? There is another one here. Uh, here says, I would like to practice tennis. Or I would like to play tennis. Okay, yes, that's good. What would you do if you were a, gen a medical genius? What would you do if you were a medical genius? A genie there. I would probably, I would probably, um, they discover many cures to different diseases, right? Different diseases like cancer, 
the leukemia, uh, I don't know, the COVID now. Okay. okay. Hey, let me see. What would you do if you were given? Ah, oh. <laughs> what would there you do a, if you were given three wishes, Laura? That's a good one. That's a good one, Laura. Okay, guys. Let's stop with this one. What would you do if you were given? Okay. If you were given this is a passive voice, okay, passive voice in simple tab. Very nice. I like that one. Okay, what would you do if you were given three wishes? Three wishes. Yes. You know, I would ask first. I, I would ask for a, a lot of money. Second, I would ask for a lot of help. And third, I would ask for other three wishes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, the, so, that's right. So that I can have like five. Wishes. I ask for more wishes. For more infinite wishes. wishes. Yes. How about you, Eric? I will ask for a. The Chinese man never taste that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will wish Chinese people had never had never tried the bad. Yes. I wish that these people had never tried the bat. Okay. Anybody else? Sergio? What would you do if you were given three witches? Well, if I if I have three wishes, I I would desire that all the gangmen or pandilleros, I don't know how yes, to say the gang, the gang, Yes, the gangmen, the gangster. <laughs> the gang disappear, man. disappear from the world. Disappear, uh, disappear <laughs> yes, disappear from, uh, from the face that, of the earth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, that uh, the whole people uh, could have uh, the same opportunities that the rest of the world and mm -hmm. and uh, that all our uh, ecological troubles disappear too. Okay, very good. There is another nice question here. You see guys, you are very creative. Where would you go? This is like the bucket list. I would, uh, where would you go if, uh, if a doctor told you that you have three days left, okay, two, three days to live. There's three more days of life. Okay, I would ask that the virus does not affect people, yes. Okay, good. Where would you go if the doctor told you that you only have three more days of life? I would I would go to the to the restaurant to many restaurants to buy a lot of food and some place uh, to eat all that food you know okay <laughs> and what else I will visit in my family all my family I will visit all my family good 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 Yes. Okay. Yesenia, how about you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse okay. me. It's okay. What would you do? I would... About... I yes. would... Yes? <laughs> what would you do if, the doc, if your doctor told you that you only have three more days of life? Where would you go? I, 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 I didn't nothing. I, I wouldn't I go. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't go. go anywhere. I wouldn't go anything. I think uh, uh, I, I am happy with my family. Okay. I like my work. I think I. You stay where you are. Only, okay. only, only, only pass with my family. Okay, very good. I wouldn't go anywhere. I would stay uh, with my family. Okay, very good. Yeah. 
Okay, Jaime. Where will you go? I will not discuss 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 it with my family. I will. I will discuss discuss it with my family. Okay, very good. <laughs> I will discuss it with my. Family. Okay, what places to visit in that way? <laughs> okay, people. Now, you see, this is what will you do? Where will you go? Remember, structure, right? Would base form if past tense. And remember that all, well, what, when we use this structure is for things that are not real, okay? These are unreal things. Things that at least in this moment, I mean, there are there is a possibility probably in the future that it can happen, right? But there are some other things that are impossible, right? If I, uh, for example, like the questions that you wrote, uh, well, uh, if I could go, go back in time, Okay, this is like when we stress our regrets. Okay, what is a regret? Anybody knows regret? No, I have to it, sir. Uh huh, yes, regret, right? Okay, then this is for example, if I could go back in time, I would study another career. If I uh, could go back in time, <clears throat> I would uh, travel more. If I, uh, if I could go back in time, I would uh, save more money, okay? Or uh, if I could go back in time, I would enjoy my life more. So that depends on your present, right? Suppose if you didn't enjoy your life before and now you say, if I could go back in time, I would enjoy more, okay? I would enjoy life a little bit more. Uh, if you spend, too much time in the past and now you don't have money, then you will say, okay, if I could go back in time, I would save money. I wouldn't waste my money. So it depends on that. So these are, you know, like expressing regrets, okay, things that probably we didn't do in the past. Marvin, any examples or any ideas? No? Okay, then uh, if you don't, uh, you don't have any more questions, just let me. Tomorrow, we have some verbs. Okay, so we're going to be practicing this verb. Okay, bye. To know about antonyms and synonyms help you increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following answers and find its up. Listen carefully and repeat. Okay, so this is what we will be practicing tomorrow with another uh, form of uh, regret, like should have. Okay, so then we have another grammar structure in this vocabulary, right? What we're going to do here is to find the... Uh, the the antonyms of accept, refuse, admit, deny, agree, no disagree, okay, uh, the slide, which one? Enjoy, divorce, refuse. marry, divorce, marry, marry. enjoy, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> divorce, divorce, yes. merit, okay. <laughs> Find, lose, uh, lose, lose. Uh -huh. lose, forget, forget, remember, remember, remember. okay, learn, save, save, uh -huh. no learn, learn is, yes, learn, borrow, borrow, oh, where is borrow, where is borrow, oh yes, borrow, borrow here, borrow, learn and borrow, uh -huh. learn and borrow, uh, Mary, refuse, remember, say. Spend. 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 Next week. Spend. Just a lot of spend. Okay, so tomorrow, for example, we're going to use the, the other structure usage 
well, uh, for example, I should, uh, I shouldn't have divorced. Okay. Then it means, for example, something that you now regret, something that you did, that in this moment you wish you hadn't done in the past. Okay, practice this word for tomorrow, and and I will show you the other structure. Okay. And a review also, the one that we had today, because we have uh, some questions about it. So tomorrow we begin with uh, what would you do if, then we see this vocabulary, and then we see the, uh, the other structure we should have. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, people. So okay. what would you do if we had two more hours in this class right now? Mm. Cry and fall asleep. <laughs> cry <laughs> or maybe fall asleep. Or maybe fall asleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> or yes, disconnect. <laughs> pre pre pretend, pretend yes. my Wi Fi is not working. <laughs> okay, pretend that my Wi Fi is connection not working. Is and, unstable. Yes, my connection is unstable. <laughs> or oh, there, yes. there is an interference of the air with the, yes, the headset, whatever. Okay, people. So have a very good night. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? okay. Take care. Okay. Good night. Thank see you. you. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.